starring Abbott and Costello. And now from Hollywood, the Abbott and Costello Show. That's a wonderful thing. I want to tell you something, Abbott. This what? is really nice to get here in Los Angeles again. Yeah. And you know, we only got here, and right away fast, we got to go back east again, because you opened your big mouth and you got us in a play with Elizabeth Scott. Now, Lou, don't feel that we way. We only got here. But, Louie, it's the greatest opportunity of our lifetime. I know, but I don't know why we have to do a, a but, play with Elizabeth Scott. Well, I wrote it? a beautiful play. I would like to have Elizabeth Scott to do with me. What play did you it's write? It's a beautiful play. What did you write? It starts off where I'm kissing Elizabeth Scott for 15 minutes. And then what happens? The curtain goes up and the play starts. Oh, stop that. <laughs> By the way, did you wire back home and explain to the folks and tell them we arrived safe? No, because we only oh, got here, but I think it's a good idea if I wire my wife. You should. Come on over here. Hey, West Virginia boy! No, boy. Oh, West Virginia boy! There's nobody here. Okay. Where you... Hey, buddy. What? You make out the wire for me, then I can send it to my wife in the east. What's the matter? Can't you write? Don't get personal. Just make it out. <laughs> well, who's the telegram going to? It's going to my whip. Whip. Wife, 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 wife. What, what, what's your wife's name? Lotta. Huh? Lotta. 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 Lotta hip. 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 Hooray! Hey! Where does your wife live? Uh, Skinnickadary. So what? Skinnickadary. So what? Skinnickadary. How do you spell it? Put down Troy. Troy! <laughs> is that Troy, New York, or Troy, California? Which one is the cheapest? Troy, California. Send it there. That... <laughs> Troy, California. What street does she live on? She don't live on a street. Now, she must live on a street, Lou. Boulevard. Hey, do I... <laughs> well, what boulevard? Pick out a nice clean one. What boulevard do you live on? Well, pick out a nice clean one. Well, there's you? all kinds of boulevards. There's Westmoreland Boulevard. There's Franklin Boulevard. Ooh, I like Franklin. You like Franklin? Put down Westmoreland. All right. Well, make up your mind. Put down Westmoreland Boulevard. Westmoreland Boulevard. Uh, what number, please? 248. 248. That's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> 745. 745. That's wrong, too. Well, make up your mind. Come on, Lou. 963 is wrong. Well, look, we'll miss the train if it gets us off. Put down 222. 222. That's a good number. Come on, I'm going to play it in boxing. All right, all right. <laughs> now, what do you want to say? Now, i got to say something. Well, naturally, you're sending a wire. You want to say something. Well, put down, let me see. Put down like this. I a riven. Uh-huh. I a roven. A roven. I a raven. What are you talking about? I a riven. I a raven. What do you say? I a raven. Make up your I a raven. What? Tell him I got here! Wait a minute. <laughs> want I arrived safe. Not you. Put down me arrived safe. Yeah, well, that's it. I arrived safe. Not you. I'm sending the wire, ain't I? Yeah. But then put down me arrived safe. You don't say me arrived safe. You just say you arrived safe. I arrived safe. No, you're not. Put down the wire. I arrived yeah. safe. Me arrived safe. Wait, wait, read it yourself. I arrived safe. There you are. Now you read it. I arrived safe. Put down we both arrived safe. All right. Uh, I arrived safe. <laughs> all right. And what else? Now say, found everything all right. Found everything Okay. Now, don't put down okay. Put down all right. Well, okay please. and all right means the same thing. No, my thing. wife don't understand the slang stuff, so you better well, put down all right. that's slang. Okay put, and all right. Put down a... all right, please. What do you mind. want? I want all right. Okay. Now, don't put down all... Put down all right. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, 
Whatever you want. I want to write. All right. Okay. Good. Well, you got it. I'm going to live in New York. I'm going to live in NY. What's this NY? That's the way I abbreviate New York. That's well, the way it. you abbreviate it. Does my wife know you? No, no. No! Put down New York! All right. <laughs> I want New York. Okay. All right. All right. Now, don't start that, please. I'm going to send you some money. I'm going to send you some money. Now, you could put in parenthesis, perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> put in parenthesis, perhaps. All right, I've got it. Now you sign, your loving husband. Your loving husband. Not has been husband. <laughs> not down low. Your loving husband. Your loving husband. What? What? Huh? What? What? What a hip. Oh, what a hip. <laughs> what a hip. There you are. Now, I guess that kind of takes in everything, Lou. How much would that cost now? Well, now let's see. We'll figure that out for you. That'll be, uh, let's see, it'll be 25, 25 is 50. It'll be uh, 50 and 50 is a dollar. It'll be city tax, county tax, borough tax, road tax. What's with all the tax you have? Well, taxes. You know how taxes are today, Lou. You yeah, can't murder them. Certainly, I know that. Let's see. I need a haircut and a shave. That'll be oh, a dollar. come on, will you? They got me all mixed up. Where was I? I just got your haircut and a shave. All right, now forget about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, let's see. That'll be uh, nine dollars and sixty cents. Nine dollars and sixty cents. Nine but I've one wire. Well, Lou, that's the way it figures out. What are you going to do? Shoot it out of a cannon? No. Nine sixty. Well, you know, in a telegram, you pay by the word. Each word costs you so much. Well, Abbott, that's why I asked you to make it well, out before I give it to the boys. You so. could eliminate a lot of these unnecessary words. Well, and... if we could eliminate some of them, let's eliminate them. I, I don't want, I want to pay the guy a lot of money. Let's well, eliminate the that. words. Well, like here. You could save a lot of money right at the beginning of your wire by taking out your eye. Of course. <laughs> but you take out your eye here, you're saving money. Why should I take out my eye? I don't want to take my eye out. Why should money. you pay for your eye? I paid for this eye a long no, time ago. Why why I'm not taking my eye out for nobody. Low, low, low. Why, should, why should you say I arrived safe? You well, arrive. If I send my wife a wait wire a and say I arrived safe without an eye, I'm not now, safe without an eye. I must have got hurt to make an eye. No, no, you can arrive, you can arrive safe without the eye. How can I arrive safe just without an eye? Arrive safe. You just want me to take my eye out, don't you? No. Here. Go ahead, take it out. I saw everything. Go All ahead. Right, look, we've got it out. Out where? Oh, you mean the eye in a cent yeah, pen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You save money that way. Ah, <laughs> what you got now? Well, you just have arrived safe, which means that... The you're... same thing. If my wife gets this wire, then she knows that I arrived safe. Well, you've got something. There's no use of doing that, huh? No. You better eliminate that. Eliminate that. All right, we'll take that. <laughs> what do you got now? Uh, found everything all right. That's bad. Why? My wife's going to think I found something she'll want to have. Oh, well, I didn't. That's right. Oh, I see. Take it out. Uh, eliminate it. Uh, eliminate that. <laughs> what you got now? Uh, I'm going to live in New York. That's a shame. Why? My wife don't even know where New York is. Oh, she don't. She's never been out of the house. Well, I don't know. You're sending the wire. Eliminate it. Take it out. <laughs> there you are. You see, you've saved 30 cents already. <laughs> What do you got left now? I'm going to send you some money. That's a lie. Why? Well, what do you mean? Who told you to put that in there? Who did? Well, I'm telling you, take it out. Get well, it well, out. Well, don't shout. Who does she think I is? I'm going to send her some money. I don't know. What's she do with the $2 I promised to Friday? I don't know. Nobody knows. Lemonade. Lemonade. All right, it's out. What do you got now? Your loving husband. That's ridiculous. Why? <laughs> I sent a wire to my wife just signed your loving husband. She's going to give me to a psych psychiatrist or something. <laughs> I'm loaded or something. Lemonade. Oh. What do you got now? Um, what a hip. Well, that's ridiculous, ain't it? What? I mean, if I just send her a wire with my name and I say, what a hip, she really knows something's wrong. It's up to you. Lemonade it. Yeah. Oh. What do you got now? Well, you having a thing in this wire, Lou. That's good. Now you send that click. Send it.
Gonna have milk any minute. <laughs> hey, you, you, you know, you, you Costello, aren't you? Yes, sir. Well, yes. how do you do? What are you doing at the station? Well, I'm fine, Freddy. See, Mr. Rabbit and I were gonna go on a play with Elizabeth Scott, and I gotta go to New York City. New York? Yep. Why don't you go to San Bernardino? I don't have to go to San Bernardino. I'm gonna go to New York. New York? Yeah. Why? Because I gotta get to New York to do the play. And if, another thing, my mother lives in Patterson, New Jersey, so I go over to see my mother. Well, if you New go... York. You see, New York is a suburb to Patterson. New York is a suburb. Yeah. And you're gonna see your mother. Yeah. Well, if you go to San Bernardino, you can see my mother. What I care about seeing your mother? What's wrong with my mother? I just said there's anything wrong. Give me one reason why you don't want to see my mother. I just what said... did my mother ever do to you? Your mother never did nothing to me. I didn't say there's anything wrong with your my mother. My mother never did nothing, huh? Your mother never did anything to me. My mother never did anything. Oh. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. My mother, for 30 years, she cooked three meals a day. She worked 48 hours a week in the plant packing oranges. She was a member of the garden club, president of the Parent Teachers Association. My mother raised 11 children, and you say she never did anything. <laughs> <laughs> what I care about your mother packing oranges? Oh, you I don't, don't care. care about your kids. You your don't care stop. about my mother. You know what's the matter? The trouble with you is your brain is two tenths. Two tenths? Yes. Two tenths the size of a normal brain. <laughs> You ought to be a I'm a stranger here, My God. mother's 11 children, they should be miserable. I don't care about your mother and 11 kids. Why don't your 11 kids stay home with the mother and be happy? Oh, stay home and be happy. How can 11 kids be happy living in one room? <laughs> Go on, say it. My mother's 11 kids. My sisters and brothers are a bunch of pigs. Now, wait a minute. I never said that your mother with the kids is a bunch of pigs. They live in one room, they're pigs. I don't care about that. I never go around saying anything like the word pig. If I want to use the word pig, I say swine. Now he's driving my wife to you. What's my wife ever done to you? What I care about What are you trying to do? Are you trying to make my wife and I to be enemies? Are you trying to do something to hurt my family relations? Ah, uh, wait a minute. My uh, wife has been good to me all through the years. What does she do? She cooks for me. She washes. She sews. Look, my She's the last one to bed, the first one in the morning. Look, my Go friend. On, spit us up. Fix it so I should give up my wife. Look, my friend, I want you to live happy with your wife. You should have a long marriage. Oh, you want me to be stuck with her for the rest of my life? <laughs> what are you trying to do? Cause trouble in my family? I'm not trying to cause no trouble. I'm bringing my wife a prison. What are you trying to do? Stop it? This happens to be the finest thing, the very latest Hollywood style. Why don't you go to San Bernardino? Let me look for Abbott, will you? Oh, I should go to San Bernardino. My wife happens to live in Pismo Beach. Well, why are you asking me to go to San Bernardino with you for? Oh, you want to make me go somewhere else because you don't go like it? Go to Pismo, Pismo Beach I dare, <laughs> I dare you to hit me once more. I'm not hitting you. All right. My wife has got a president here. What's wrong with it? The latest Hollywood style. Oh. 
I suppose I don't know what the latest Hollywood style is, huh? I didn't even ask you what the latest... I don't care about the latest Hollywood style. Now I got to prove to you I haven't I been here long enough to find out what the latest style is. We're I going right have, back east. I don't have to prove to you, but I'll show you that I do know. The latest Hollywood style says that every woman's got to dress according to the color of her husband's hair. If he has black hair, she wears a black dress. <laughs> if red hair, a red dress. Gray hair, a gray dress. If he has red hair, when she goes out, she dresses. <laughs> You're bringing well, home for your wife. There you are. <laughs> you get out of here. If I can only find Abbott, I'll get myself set. And I'm going to get out of here. Where have you been? Where have you been? I'm looking all over this depot. What kind for of you? English is that? Where have you been? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I have been here. Something <laughs> worrying, worrying. A guy gave me a lot of stuff about his wife, yeah. about with a with a, with a dress well, according to the hair. Mouth, My wife's got to wear a black dress. All I do is get a headache. Every his time wife I... never comes out. <laughs> Time you talk, I get a headache. Why don't you take aspirin? I get a huh? Why take aspirin? You're telling me to take an aspirin. You're telling me to take an aspirin. <laughs> Have you a license to practice medicine? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Have you a license to practice medicine? I got no license to Who practice are medicine. Who wants to tell me to take an aspirin? Look, if a guy says he's got a headache, uh, his idea. friend, his friend, his friend always says, Doctor, take an aspirin. Doctor, I told you like saving. I told they you like college. They I gotta study. talk once in a while. <laughs> talk for years to become doctors, and you tell me to take an aspirin. What do Every... you care about the doctors? You it's don't care. my turn now. You don't care if the doctors are out of work, do you? Look, everybody tells a friend to take an aspirin. You got a headache? I said take aspirin. If you don't want me to tell it, you got a headache. Don't take aspirin. I shouldn't take it. You're my friend. You want me to walk around the street with a headache? Is that, is that, it? Is that the kind of a pattern? Why don't you take a bromo zone? It's the same thing. <laughs> I'm not always in trouble. You're always looking for trouble. I'm not looking for no now trouble. Listen, I want you to be careful when Elizabeth Scott comes out. And don't forget, I don't want you to say one word out of the turn. Um, boy, am I glad we'll, to get back home. That's we'll what I want to say. That great I'm, show. I'm, I'm glad to get back east. I, that's all I can tell well, you. You know, I love it back there this time of I year. like it back, too. Uh, Erskine Lakes, New Jersey's beautiful. Oh, brother. in the fall. I go up with my friend Joe Bob's and have a nice time. Yeah, with the leaves falling and the snow on the ground. Oh, I love the winter in New York. You like the winter I in New York? I love it. Hey, buddy. What? Where do all the little bugs go in the winter time? Search me. No, thanks. I just want to find out. Now, <laughs> Elizabeth Scott! Hey, Scott, if it isn't Elizabeth Scott. <laughs> Elizabeth. Oh, boy! Oh, quiet. Oh, that sort of thing. I, I wanted to meet my partner, uh, Lucas Della. Uh, Her husband must have gray hair. Quiet! <laughs> he says that he just say, down, boys. <laughs> oh, he's hungry. <laughs> Here, boy. That? I don't eat dog biscuits. What do you feed him, dog food? Ah, oh, strong heart. <laughs> uh, by the way, honey, are we all set in your play in New York? You're sure of that? Yes, but it's Good. the story of Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone? Uh-huh. Great. In it, you play an early settler. Uh -huh. And you, Costello, you play Daniel Boone. Oh, I can see you now with your coonskin hat and your buckskin shirt trimmed with squirrel tails. How do I look? Like a tub of butter with tassels. <laughs> By the way, what do you play, Elizabeth? Oh, I play the part of an Indian girl. Uh, Indian uh -huh. girl? Huh? And I'm madly in love with you. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, every night I send up smoke Don't put signals this to, me to show my love. You know, one puff means I adore you. Two puffs, I can't live without you. Three puffs, hold me tight and kiss me. Abbott. Turn me over. I think I'm done on one side. <laughs> Abbott, go home and tell my kids they got no more father. Oh, take it. I'll see you later. Where are you going? I'm going to Pasadena to get a smudge pot. Nah, yeah. <laughs> Bud, would Not you be kind enough to check my trunk? Oh, sure, surely. I'll see you boys later on the train. All right, Bye later. now. Bye bye. Bye now. Hey, uh, she's a pretty girl. Don't worry, Elizabeth. All right, all right. Stay There's good. a fine hunk of stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, Lou. You gave me.
save me too much money. Huh? It's not gonna cost all this. Have you got two tens for a five? Just so happen to have it. That's it. Now... <laughs> that Elizabeth, I oh, like her! She's a regular scout, that's why. <laughs> that's a woman that knows her stuff. <laughs> now, let's see, the bag of room is The bag of room is around here somewhere. Look, you know where it is? Just a minute. What? Right, what's wrong? Just a minute. Fifteen dollars went south. <laughs> You gave me a lot of your fast talking. Now, take it easy. Have you got two tenths for five? And me, like I said, I'll give you two tenths for five over there. Wait a minute. Are you accusing me of cheating? Yeah, but you got two tenths for five. Uh, <laughs> here's your five. Give me back my two tenths. Now, get my... <laughs> Here, here's two pence. Give me a five. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you did it to me. <laughs> you did it again. What are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing, I, but I'm doing the wrong. Hey, no, 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 no. Put it back. Don't, don't do that, Luke. Come on, let's get the. No, no. Put it there. And leave it there. We better That's go it. check the grip. Stop that. <laughs> give me that bill. Give me your hand. Put it in my hand like that and leave it there. That's better. Now, come on. Let's... <laughs> Telegram for G. John McKenzie. Telegram for G. John McKenzie. Because you're mine, the breeze 
that hurries by becomes a melody. And why? Because you're mine. Because you're mine. Because you're mine. I only know just as long as I may live. I'll only live for the kisses that you alone can give me. And when we kiss, it isn't thunder, dear, it's only my poor heart you hear. And it's a How'd I get this? Where'd that come from? Is that yours? No. Is that yours? <laughs> what are you doing? I swore I came in. Excuse me, sir. Did your hand slip? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that from? Oh, no. just happened to put it there. Well, forget about it. Uh, what's your birth? Huh? What's your birth? 1917. I'm not talking four years. I lived in Patterson. No, 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 no. no. When you bought your tickets, uh, didn't they give you a slip for your birth? A slip? Yeah. I go to bed in my pajamas. Oh, no, no. <laughs> You got any? Where is it? I got to take it someplace around here. Where? Oh, I know. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I remember. You're in 10 and I'm in 12. Uh, yeah. There's 10. Here's 12. Okay. Over there. <laughs> I wonder what that boxing glove is doing there. <laughs> There's a loose boxing glove in the upper. What are you talking about? Look. <laughs> There's nothing up there. What? When you go to bed and get some rest, we've got a lot of work to do in New York. Shoe shine. Shoe shine. Hey, Porter, do a good job on these and do the same for my partner down below. Turn <laughs> <laughs> another iron. <laughs> Do you know that there's a horse in the lower berth? Yes, sir. How come? Because he wasn't able to take a ladder to the upper. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, what? did you see Porter take a pair of mules from under my berth? Wait a minute. You got a pair of mules under your berth? Yes. <clears throat> and there's a horse in the lower one over here? <laughs> What are we traveling on, a cattle car? Miss <laughs> 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 Scott keeps her mules handy in case she wants to get a drink of water. She keeps her mules handy in case she wants to go for water? Sure. Isn't that a little tough for such a short ride? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I don't ride the mules. I walk with a pair of mules on each foot. You're standing there telling me that you ride the mules, one on each foot. <laughs> ben Harris or something. No, wait you ride the mules. That's a good trick if she can do it. No, 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 Lou. She, uh, she gets out of bed, she slips on her mules. Serves her own right. She should. Anybody keeps mules under the bed should fall. <laughs> Why don't you keep them in a stable where they belong? Lou, you... <laughs> Lou, I often walk in my sleep, so I always put the mules under my bed. Why don't you put them in a stable where they belong? Lou, 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 Lou. Her mules are her slippers. 
That was a hot one, wasn't it? <laughs> That's a funny twist. Well... I'm terribly sorry, bud, but the don't train apologize. whistle scared me. <laughs> Haven't you got any left-handed whistles? <laughs> Where's all the whistles? That boxing glove has still got me. Where's that boxing glove you got up here? Was Abbott! 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 Robert! Have you got Get the horse and get it! Get the... Get the... Anyone to poison yourself? Hey, this is not your bed. Do you want me to get your pajamas out? Yes, come on. Now get over here. This is not your berth. This is my berth. All right, I'll get your pajamas out. Get them out. Lay them up here on the pillow. And lay my slippers right down there. Go ahead. I got him. Well, put it all down there below. How's that? that? That's fine. You got a minute? Well, now, wait a minute. Take your time. You're over here. Wait a minute. This is not right. Hey, Abbott. This is my grip. Abbott, come here. I don't want to say anything, but I think we got everything out of here. This is not my grip, though. I told you we should have bought two Elizabeth Scots. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Blow some more whistles, will you? Go ahead. Get to bed. Get hey, to, have you been right. to the store club lately? Hey, what was that one, one by here? Mmm. <laughs> Smells like, uh... Touche moi, eighteen dollars an ounce. Smells like what? Touche moi, eighteen dollars an ounce. Get a load of this. What's that? Ketchup, fourteen cents a bottle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good night, Abbott. Good night. See you later. Okay. <laughs> Come here. What's the matter now? Come here. What's the matter? What happened? I don't want to dress in that berth. I want to dress in yours. Oh, stop it. I'm you. not going to go in that berth. The train will rock you to sleep. You... I'll get rocked to sleep, all right. But mean? not by the train. What do you mean? I don't want to go in that berth. I want to go in your berth. Why my berth? A bird? stitch in time saves nine. Not stitch. The nine stitches in my head. Well, I, I, go to sleep. <laughs> I will have if I go in that berth. Will it make you any happier to sleep in my lower? It certainly will. Go ahead, sleep in mine. Let's, Let's get some sleep, please. Okay. Got a big show to do. I want this birth. <laughs> now, you want my birth. Will you make up your mind? I want this birth over here. You want this? Yeah. Look, I'm going to keep my eye on you. You take the upper birth, and I'll sleep in the lower birth. Go ahead. Just a minute. What's Come a, in. What's the matter with you? Why do you always give me that kind of stuff? When we're riding a bus, you make me ride over the wheel. Now, when we're in a train, i got to take all the right. upper, and you have to All right, all right. I'll, I'll sleep in the lower. You sleep in the upper. That's much better. All right, I'm taking it. <laughs> Come here, that's like the two tenths for a five. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Don't give me any more of that stuff. All right, I'll give you a gambler's chance. Let's do a fair square. All right, go ahead. Now, um, take a number from one to ten. Four. No, number five. You sleep in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Come Just a minute. I don't think now that's you... fair. Now, what do you want? How'd you do that? How did I do it? Do you want another chance? Of course. Go ahead, take a number. Any number at all from one to ten. I got it. The number odd or even? It's even. The number between one and three? No. Between three and five? No. Between five and seven? Yeah. Number six? How'd you do that? Get up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, good night. Go ahead, good night. I'll see you later. Okay, kid. Now, wait a minute, old boy. Now, just see you later. What is this guy doing? Playing snap the whip? <laughs> what are you doing in that bird? What are you asking me for? All I know is I went rap. I made it. You belong in that Boys, I made it, too. Come here. You belong in that supper. Get up there. Well, here I go again. Go ahead. Now. Hey, wait a minute. What? Let me try with you. 
Take it up from one to ten. Seven. That's right. See you later. <laughs> Here we go. See you later, baby. <laughs> Where's this up there? Is this guy blazing a new trail? Go ahead. <laughs> Get up there. Hey, partner. Huh? One car down. Thank you. Some need. Some need. Some need, he wants. Go ahead. Get up here. <laughs> Good night. Every show that we're on, every show is breaking scenery. You're breaking doors. Another show, there's nothing but apples all over the stage. I got news for you. Right. I wish it wasn't so. Uh, Look at this hat. Come here. What do you want? <laughs> this is one time apples will never hurt me in a Pullman car. This The city of bright lights, the city of contrasts, the city of Times Square.
I'm going to say. How long will these Indians' wars last? Uh, we haven't had any food for five days. I know, son. I've been living on onions alone for five days. Anyone who eats onions for five days should live alone. I... <laughs> you know, if Daniel Boone would marry me, my tribe would stop fighting him. Ah, uh, to marry Daniel is my only aim. How about Daniel Boone? As far as he's concerned, the gun ain't loaded. Daniel Boone is out there. Daniel Boone Daniel is out there. there. I'm Daniel Boone. <laughs> I'm Daniel Boone. You're Daniel, You're Boone. Daniel Boone. I'm. Da Where are you going with the door, fellow? Oh, I'm Daniel Boone. And I want to tell you something, Abbott. And you too, Liz. They're lies. Lies. That's, that's a pretty girl. You don't have to worry about the Indians. Oh. I took care of them with my sawed-off shotgun. Sawed-off shotgun? Certainly. You sawed it off the wrong end. How do you like that? <laughs> Daniel, my hero. Give it to me. me. Oh, Daniel, do my kisses affect you that way? No. You're standing on my floor! <laughs> Impossible, illiterate ignoramus. Them are hard words, Liz. Them are hard words, but I said them. And I said them in 1939 with oh, Kate Smith. <laughs> Same Listen, writer. We're surrounded by Indians. <laughs> we are? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What if are we going to do? If Daniel will marry me, I'll show you way out with my tribe. He'll marry you, all right. Oh, I'll give you happiness. I'll give you affection. I'll give you love. I need a wife like I need a hole in the head. <laughs> I'll give you that, too, so don't try to cross me. Now, look. What follow me. Follow her. She went that away. Shortcut. Here's a war shield. Here's a war shield. This is a garbage can. <laughs> it's a war shield. It's a war shield. Here's a silver horn. Here's a silver horn. This is a silver horn. Is this the way Hal Wallace tells you to talk? <laughs> I'll go get the other paraphernalia. Yeah. I think you better get the other paraphernalia. Hey, that's a nice silver horn at that. Abbott, this is no silver horn. No, no. This is a tin horn. No, no, don't say that, Lou. That's I know tin when I see it. She said it was silver. I don't care what Liz Scar said. I say that is tin. Don't say tin. When she says that's silver, it's silver. It may be silver to her, but to me it's tin. I said it's silver. Now, don't deny it. Don't uh, feel like silver. What does it feel like? Tin. Don't <laughs> Now, what is that? Silver. That's better. Huh? <laughs> What's the matter? I'm not going to say the word you want to bang me on, brother. What word is that? My mother's watching so you don't kill me. What word? I'm not going to say that word what that word? you slap me on. What word? That other word. Silver. <laughs> I was going to say tin. Take <laughs> those remarks to yourself. I'll never say it again. Say what? That word. What word? That word that makes you slap me. What is that? That word. What word? That everybody would like to hear me say? <laughs> I am not. Option. Why? She's coming back. <laughs> Here's a war club. Here's a war club. A war club? <laughs> this is a war club? Uh-huh. <laughs> this is a piece of baloney. It's, it's a, a war, war club. club. <laughs> a war club. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> now they tell me there's an iron bar in it. Don't hit it. It's a war club. It's a war club. Did Inside it's a war club. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> I'm not going to kill an ears with a piece of bologna and a, and a garbage can covering its tin horn. I tell you. You're a coward. I'm You're a coward. You're a coward, a coward, a coward, a coward, a coward. Come here, come here. You're a coward. <laughs> there. Daniel Boone, see if there's any powder in that cake. Why, we need powder so we can massacre the Indians. Certainly we do. I shall see if there's any powder in there. Did you think you should do that? Why, there's no powder in but there. But there might be powder in there. There's no powder in Are there. Are you sure? No. Oh, my. You sure there's no powder in there? No. Oh, I'm worried. Are you sure? There is no powder in this cake. <laughs> Lou. Lou. Where? <laughs> My pal, there was powder in that cave. Oh. And it's all your fault. Get out of here. Get out of the stockade. Oh. Come on, get out. I'm sorry. My pal, Lou. I didn't know there was powder in that cave. And to think that my pal is gone. Gone, he'll never come back to me. And I used to treat him so mean. <laughs> what have I done to my pal? Hello? What's Hello? the matter, buddy? Oh, what no happened? way. You don't understand. You'd never understand. What do you mean I don't understand? I had a pal, a little pal. I used to slap her on all the time. That's me! Oh, he was only here so I could tell him. You I didn't hurt me, buddy. He's gone. That's his pants. That's buddy, his Buddy, you didn't hurt me. I didn't hurt you. I did Oh, you. You wouldn't understand these things. I'm the little did fat you, boy. Did you, you used to have a brother. You used did to you ever have a pal. You used to slap me in the face idol. all the time. I, I'm the little fat fella you used to slap in the face. And every time I used to talk to you, you said, because I love you. Lou, it is you. Yes. You're not hurt? Of course not. No bones broken? I, I wouldn't fool you, buddy. You're feeling good? Oh, sure. Lou, look at me. You dirty double crosser. <laughs> We'll be back for in about four or five weeks. We'd next like to, week, we'd Donald like, O'Connor. Donald O'Connor. We'd like to have you meet Liz Scott and Wait. Donald O'Connor. Come on, Liz Scott, Liz. next Wait. week. Do Come not know Liz Scott. Let's discuss. I mean, uh, Donald O'Connor. Good night, Donald. Good night, Donald. Good night, Donald. The Colgate Comedy Hour is... Featured in tonight's cast were Sid Fields, Dudley Dickerson, Milt Brunson, and Bobby Barber. Abbott and Costello appear through the courtesy of Universal International and can currently be seen in Lost in Alaska. Lisbeth Scott appeared through the arrangement with Hal Wallace Productions. Giselle McKenzie appears through the courtesy of Club 15.